Greetings, my name is Mr. Archie and I am the band teacher for three elementary schools in the Union Endicott School District, Angie McGinnis, Charles F. Johnson, and George F. Johnson Elementary Schools. And if you're a fifth grader in one of these buildings, or going to be a fifth grader in one of these buildings, you're probably wondering how to join band. All right, and I'll be your teacher. I'm gonna show you how to do that. First step is knowing what instrument you wanna play. Okay, there's a lot of possible instruments to learn in band, and you can only learn one, all right? So uh, you have to decide and pick out of the possibilities. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play some for you so you can be thinking about it, and I want you to be thinking about what ones you like and trying to place them kind of in order, favorite to least favorite, okay? So I'm gonna show you a, a whole bunch of them, all right? And they're all right down there. Look at that. All right, so let's get started. Here we go. The flute, that's right. The flute is one of the ones that I teach. This is a very popular one. It is very cool, it, it gets the melody a lot. It's kind of a quiet instrument, so I do need a lot of them so we can hear that melody, we can hear the flutes. Um, and it ends up going into a pretty small case that can probably fit in your backpack. So wicked easy to carry too, all right. Um, so, sounds like this. Very, very cool instrument. Good first choice because I need lots of them. All right, another one I teach is the clarinet. The clarinet also is pretty small, although I don't think it'll fit in your backpack, but it's also pretty small. Um, it gets a melody some of the times, and I need tons of clarinets. If I had to pick an instrument I needed the most of, it'd be clarinet. So very, very great first choice. It has a very cool sound. Sounds like that. sound and I need tons of them. I hope a lot of you like the clarinet. Alright, now this one is the alto saxophone. Now the alto saxophone is very cool but watch out it is a little heavy. That's not too heavy to carry back and forth from school but it's definitely one of the bigger instruments and it does 100% have to hang on your neck. So if you've got back or neck issues, <laughs> probably not a good choice, all right? But everybody else, uh, it's a pretty cool instrument. It sounds really neat. Sounds like this. All right, so that is the saxophone. Very, very cool, very jazzy instrument. Now. It's one of the louder instruments that I teach, and because of that, I can't take too many. So it's not that I would run out of saxophones that are available to uh, give students, it's just that if too many saxophones are playing, I'm not gonna be able to hear all the, the flutes and the clarinets that I wanna hear, right? So uh, so I usually, I definitely take some. I do need saxophone, but uh, I don't take a lot of them. So if you like saxophone, I hope you have some other choices that still would make you happy. Uh, my suggestion would be the clarinet because the clarinet has a similar mouthpiece and a lot of similar fingerings. So maybe in the future, you'd be able to pick up saxophone pretty easily if it became available to you. All right, so for now though, saxophone. Hope some of you take it, uh, but be prepared with a second choice on that one. So those three are the woodwinds, flute, clarinet, and saxophone. Now on to brass instruments, which I also teach. Here is the trumpet. Trumpet is kind of the flute of the brass instruments and it gets the melody a lot as well. And just like the flute, because of that, I need a lot of them. So I'm hoping a lot of you like 
the trumpet. All right, sounds like this. Trumpet, very, very cool and very good first choice. I have a lot of trumpets available, and I do need a lot of them. Now, the next brass instrument is this is one of the more challenging of my brass instruments, okay? But a lot of people know that that's cool as well. It's got a very cool sound that I really, really, really like, uh, but it is a bit of a challenge. And so I usually hope that anybody who takes French horn is somebody who is musically inclined. So in other words, maybe you've taken piano lessons or orchestra lessons already, and you realize, wow, I'm good at this music stuff, and you're up for a challenge of a really, really uh, cool instrument like this, all right? And uh, it's a little bit bigger, okay? Uh, because of that, you would get one at home and one at school, so you wouldn't have to carry this back and forth. So that is one of the pluses of the French horn. Uh, sounds like this. cool sound. I do hope some people take it. Uh, I definitely need French horns. It's a very popular instrument in a lot of groups. Um, so that's French horn. Next one I teach, the trombone. All right. So the trombone um, is beginning the low brass section. So this is kind of the bass section of the band. Okay. So bass sounds. And trombone is very cool uh, because it has this slide thing that no other instrument has. And because of that, we can make more interesting uh, sounds that others can't. Okay, we're the only ones who can do that. All right, we can do normal melodies too. So the trombone, also a great choice, starting to get into low sounds. And um, they do get the melody sometimes, though, but uh, usually they're hitting bass notes. Um, you wouldn't, you'd still have, you'd be able to carry this back and forth. It goes into a case about the same size as a saxophone, believe it or not. So as big as this looks, it ends up in a much smaller thing that you can carry around, all right? So, you'd, uh, so this is pretty solid, trombone. All right? And then uh, the last of the brass instruments, uh, I usually go over a couple of these possibilities, okay? There's tuba, but tuba's a bit big, and most people don't take tuba their first year. I have tubas, I have them available, I can take a, a couple students on it, um, but usually if you like tuba, the instrument I'm about to play for you, uh, students will take the euphonium or the baritone, these are, are mini tubas, okay? Uh, so they're much easier for you to carry, okay? So you could candle lifting up a, a baritone or your phonium much, much more easier than a tuba, all right? But some people try the tuba because they want to be cool and have something huge, and that's fine, that's okay. Um, but uh, anyway, we get a lot of these. <laughs> A lot of oompa kinds of stuff. Right? All right, we can do all sorts of cool melodies as well. All right, so the tuba. It is big. If you really want the tuba, let me know. Uh, but if you otherwise, my suggestion is if you like the tuba, go for baritone or euphonium. Uh, it's much more your size. You'll still have one at home and one at school because it's big enough. But uh, uh, you'd easily be able to handle that one. All right. Um, and the mouthpiece is very similar to the trombone uh, as far as 
the baritone goes. So much more doable, much more easy. Um, and now, so that's the brass instruments. And then the last kind of instruments I teach is percussion. Okay, percussion is all the things that you would hit. So you got snare drum, you got xylophone, you got glockenspiel, you got crash cymbals, uh, bass drum, triangle, tambourine, all those instruments. Uh, you have to learn them all if you join the percussion. Um, so I definitely need a good percussion section, but there's a couple things you want to keep in mind. You know, one, a whole lot of people join the percussion section because they think it'll be easy. They think it's going to be easy to you just hit something. All right. It's way more complex. I would say it is the hardest of the instruments that I teach. All right. It is very, very advanced. There's a lot that you have to learn and very complex things that you have to be able to do. All right. So it is quite challenging. All right. Um, and I don't take too many people on it because... I can't have two bass drums, <laughs> you know. I can't have too many of these different instruments. They're very, very big, and I tend to just have one of each of them. And I just need one student per each of those instruments, and in a band rehearsal, you would rotate and get turns on each one during the band rehearsal, okay? So you have to learn all of them. Um, you have to be able to keep a beat. That is very, very important. That is a key function of the percussion section is keeping the beat for the band, right? Um, so very, very important. We need that. We definitely need that beat. And I hope a lot of you like the percussion. Uh, I'm just saying, don't pick it because you think it's easy. <laughs> Okay, all the instruments I teach are hard, um, and they're hard in different ways, okay? And percussion is quite challenging, okay? So it should be something you're taking because you're interested in the challenge and the work that it will take, okay? Um, but, very, very important section, so I do hope some of you take it. I mean, hard to have a band without a percussion section, so we want you in. Um, but hopefully you have some second choices if that's your favorite, because if too many people decide to... Uh, uh, try and take that. I can't take too many. Okay, so that's the instruments I teach: woodwind, brass, percussion. I teach flute, clarinet, alto saxophone, trumpet, French horn, trombone, and baritone, which is a mini tuba. Tuba, if you really want it, um, and percussion or drums. Okay, so all those are available, and hopefully you've got an idea of some that you like, and what's your first favorite, second favorite, third favorite, that sort of thing. Um, the ones I have the most of are flutes, clarinets, and trumpets. Um, so that got tons and tons of those. After that, maybe trombones. And then after that, it starts being less and less and less. Um, so you have an idea. Uh, so there will be, in the first week of school, a chance where I will uh, meet with everybody. I'm going to play all the instruments live for you so you hear what they sound like in real life as opposed to a recording like this. And so that might help you make some more decisions and you'll get to ask some questions that might help you uh, pick it out a little bit better. I'll hand out a sign-up form that you will take home and you will put down your choices and your parents will have to sign it and then you'll have to bring it in to me. Then, once I get them all, I've got to figure out if I've got enough instruments for everybody, tell people they have to get second choices if they have to get second choices, only if. I try to avoid that, but if that's a thing, then uh, I'll take care of that then. Next step, there will have to be a meeting where I hand out rental contracts, okay? Because you're going to be borrowing uh, these instruments from me, right? I'm assuming you don't have one just laying around at home. So you're going to have to sign a contract, and your parents are going to have to sign a contract, obviously agreeing that you'll return it and take good care of it, right? So... Uh, keep that in mind, uh, that there'll be a time period where you have to take a rental contract home and bring it back. Once all that's in, then we'll start having our lessons and rehearsals, okay? So we'll have a meeting, I'll play the instruments, answer questions, hand out sign-up forms, take it home, get it signed, bring it back to me, work out who's getting what instruments, then I'll hand out rental contracts, take that home, get signed, bring it back to me, then we'll get started, okay? Um... So hopefully that answers most of your questions. Now in the page where you click the link to get to this video, there should be other links on each instrument if you want to hear more specifics uh, about each instrument uh, and why you would pick that one, the pros and the cons of each instrument, uh, so you can really think about it, okay? Um, so hopefully a lot of you are planning to join band in fifth grade. I'm hoping for some big, big bands because uh, it always sounds cool if there's tons of us, and I'm hoping lots and lots of you want to join up and be part of that. All right? Um, and 
may the force be with you. <laughs>